let's talk about Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, because it's uh, Christmas time and and I always have this wonder about Jesus. Um, I've been raised part Catholic from one side of my family, so they were high Christmas uh, celebrators. And the other side of the family, they didn't celebrate Christmas at all. So anyway, Christmas is the supposed birthday of Jesus and there's all this hype of Jesus. Apparently, some people claim that he's the savior, and and also like religious people say that if you don't believe in Jesus, you will burn in hell. And a lot of confusion, like a lot of lot of lot of confusion in in my mind and probably in some other people's mind as well. So basically the problem is that you get many descriptions about uh, Jesus. You get the Christian's uh, description. I mean, there's not like one solid description of Jesus. There's claims also that he performed what we would call supernatural, which is a word that uh, that it's not the it's not the it's, it's also a very tricky word the supernatural word because many things that they used to be supernatural they are not supernatural anymore they became part of reality like having a car or even whatever taking a shower with hot water it's this 2000 years ago was supernatural i mean we didn't we could not achieve this so among the supernatural attributes of jesus christ he he walked on water he cured people he you know he gave uh, sight to the blind and And this is, for instance, the claims of many people of like why he was the, or he is the son of God and and he's the savior and like this, this has a big role in in many Jesus believers. The fact that he had this super super power, uh, super power, supernatural power, and. So, yeah, these super, the supernatural uh, abilities that he has, like for instance, giving sight to the blind, is something that today days with this thing called uh, medicine and technology and, and new technologies, we starting to be able to make some of the supernatural that Jesus used to do. And um, so yeah, there you have it. In the other side, he been, let's keep talking a little bit of like the image of the of the Christian, let's say, the, the religious label of which is uh, of, of, uh, of Jesus, which is the, the most important because the most people join that label and, and the most atrocities have been committed in the name of uh, that label. So So this, uh, these Christians in the Christian, for as far as I understood, 
by the people I, I spoke. Uh, Jesus teach you to love your enemies. Now, if he said to love your enemy, means that he also loves your enemy. Because I don't think that he would not love your enemy because he's your enemy. And and if you, like, let's say, if your enemy in this case is someone from another religion, which he don't believe, he don't, he don't uh, believe in Jesus. And this is one question that I, that I never understood also. Does G G do Jesus love also the people that don't believe in him? Or he loves everyone? Because there is said that if you don't believe in him, in him you will burn in hell. Because he's the only salvation. Now, there's also the other, there's many other ways of seeing Jesus. There's some people who see also who don't see the not supernatural powers. Maybe they don't necessarily believe that he existed, but they believe in the message. And this is a more, let's say, kind of rational thing to uh, way to see, him, you know, but however, if it's this way, if he didn't commit uh, commit, uh, how to say, like the miracles and the supernatural and if he didn't actually exist or if he saw, if he saw a tale, why you, why you should give so much importance to the tale? Are you the only, like, why is, why is it important? You will find this tale in, in many other places of being good and, you know, you need to be you need to be a good person, no matter what. So, also now it comes in the Christmas time. There are claims from uh, from the people who go against uh, Jesus' ex existence and and all this, like that um, they relate Jesus with the with the character of nature. So he's, he's like the seasons of nature. And that's why like Christmas is on the 23 of, uh, 24th of December, which is uh, kind of like the days that the last day of the day where it changed the season, basically. And that date is a date that come from further pseudo religion or paganism as they call it for me is another form of religion uh, the only difference that it used to be polytheistic and so this this date come from that period and it's a celebration because of the seasons and if you go to easter i think it, there's also a relation with with the seasons like uh, marking the the end of the seasons. So yeah, these are the questions. These are the questions that, that I always uh, had about Jesus, and and like this.